guest has been giving us hits since the 90s, from Lean Back to What's Love and All the Way Up. Clearly, nothing can stop him. <laughs> and he's here today to tell us all about his latest projects. Please welcome our friend, Fat Joe! Joe! Joey Crack the Dawn! Welcome What's up, back guys? To the How y'all doing? We're great. <laughs> I'm happy to be back on here. It's been a while. I know. You know we love you so much. Um, you recently shared a video that appeared to show Ukrainian soldiers riding around bumping lean back. What was your reaction to seeing that? Man, it was amazing. You know, I come from a place of, like, when I do my music, it's just so aggressive. It's so out there so I can relate. You know, for years, football players have been telling me when they go on to the NFL field and all that, they bump Fat Joe, but I never thought soldiers defending their country would be playing lean back. Right? So it was like an honor. It was it, yeah. it was definitely an honor to see that they were getting hyped up to that. Um, speaking of Ukraine and with the gas prices being so high, you've been busy helping people with gas money. What made you want to do this? I don't know. I just feel so blessed, man. We come from so little. We didn't have much growing up. And now we just so blessed that I just, you know, like to give back to the people and help the people in need and never forget where we come from. That's pretty much the point. That's yeah. right. You have such a big heart. That's one of the things we love so much about you. You're always sending positive vibes and just lending a helping hand. Recently, you raised over a million Woo! for families impacted by the tragic Bronx apartment fire. And not to mention, you raised the money within 24 hours. You even called on people like DJ Khaled, Nas, LL Cool J. Tell us why that was so important to you. Jay-Z as well, and I have a new friend named Jack Dorsey. Nice. Who you might have heard owns Twitter. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just, you know, once again, Adrian, you know where we come from, man. I come from the hood. I come from nothing. And even though I'm blessed and I'm successful, I never forget where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And I saw that these families really, really went through some real tragedy. And I just had no other choice but to help. I just wanted to help them. Uh, a lot of people came and helped them. Uh, but, you know, there's mental stress. People yeah. lost over 19 family members. Wow. I mean, really, really sad. Sad yeah. event, and uh, and we like to speak for the voiceless. We like right. to speak for the people that don't get heard much. We love and appreciate we, you. Yeah, so you're an incredible much. person, so really. Much. Um, also, like you're also the owner and founder of a few up NYC stores, and your latest store in the South Bronx include a space for after-school learning center for kids. Tell us more about that. Well, you know, um, when COVID happened, um. You know, a lot of our kids in the black and brown community uh, don't have access to computers, don't have access to tablets, mm -hmm. and they're still the same to this day. So I wanted to open a little learning center yeah. inside my store where kids that don't have access to the computers could come and actually join an after-school program. We have teachers in there, everybody's in there to help the kids. That's and if they want to excel, true. I just want to have a hub, a safe hub for them to come to and, and excel and maybe one day turn around and say, you know, Fat Joe, I learned something at Fat Joe's little classroom over there. So great. That is so dope. Yo, I'm inspired by everything that you're doing. And as if you weren't busy enough, during the pandemic, you also launched your nightly Instagram live talk show called The Fat, Fat Joe, Joe show, show, which I've been on and I love chatting with you. What do you want people to take away from watching your show? You know, it's always positivity. You know, I was terrified when COVID first started because I'm pre-diabetic, so I thought I could get really, really sick and die. So I was home, we were bored, and then I went on live one day. My daughter, speaking of woman empowerment... Come on, Azzy. Uh, she, Azzy, Azzy turned it on and said, Dad, let's do the live. I didn't even know what it was. I went on one day, then I went on the next day, and people <laughs> were asking for it, and then it turned into a show. But it's always positivity. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of times in, in urban journalism, we always shoot down our our icons and our right. legends, mm -hmm. trying to get that clickbait and trying to get people. I like to do it with positivity and just show the positive yeah, aspects yeah. of our favorite people and just bring that out and be successful with that. So I might need you to run for president or something. Seriously, Joe. <laughs> I, mean, no, I definitely can't run for president, guys. <laughs> Trust me. Um, let's talk about, you know, last year, you facing off with Ja Rule in Versus Battle was everything. It was so epic. 
So I want to know, who would you like to see battle next? I would like to see Nicki Minaj and Little Kim oh, in wow. the verses. OK. That would be You insane. know, that, that, that would be amazing for the girls, for the ladies. And uh, it's overdue. And I'm just putting that in the air. I would love to see Little Kim and Nicki Minaj. Put it out there. Put it out there. Also, it was just announced that LL Cool J is bringing back the Rock the Bells tour, which I love. Um, and you and Remy Ma are joining. What can fans expect? Well, you know, LL's my idol. You know what I'm saying? So anything he asks me to do, I'm going to do. Oh. And, you know, the man is such a great ambassador for hip hop. So I think it's us. I think it's di the diplomats. It's Ice Cube. Oh, it's like real legendary people on there. Little Kim is on there. Oh, wow. uh, Jada Kiss is on there. It's gonna be amazing. Wow. Um, Trina. That's so cool. it's gonna be amazing. It's, it's, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun for sure. That sounds incredible. Speaking of announcements, you have another one for us. Heard you have a little surprise. Tell us all about Ooh. it. Well, you know this 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 book is coming out November first. It's called. Fat Joe, the book of Jose. And it's very unlike any other rapper's book you ever saw. It's talking about depression. It's talking about the struggle. It's talking about the greatest hip hop moments. It's talking about everything. So people could go to my Instagram, Fat Joe, and click the link to pre order now. But I'm really, really, really excited about this book. It's going to change the game. That looked incredible. First of all, the cover alone I love of the you as a kid. On the cover. How old were you so then? So good. I was like 12, man, and they used to bully me every day in oh. this pit. And, 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 and you know, where today. You are now, and part. look where you are now. Fat Joe, yes. thank you so much for taking the time because we know you're busy and hanging out with us today. The Fat Joe Show streams live weeknights at 8 p.m. Eastern on Instagram, so be sure to check it out.